So I, I will start with a short uh, uh, introduction uh, of, uh, of La Poste. BSCC, BSCC is, uh, is a French uh, acronym. So uh, this means that um, uh, I'm working in uh, the branch of um, uh, services, parcel uh, and letter delivery. You have to know that La Poste is a big French company with 200,000 uh, people working on, on banking and digital services and delivery. The topic of today is uh, is to uh, to show how uh, API management can help, you know, I can accelerate uh, integration uh, process uh, in this delivery branch. Okay, so uh, this this delivery branch has decided to uh, to to have a uh, digital transformation uh, a few years ago, uh, and this transformation is based on an API API first uh, you know information system. So we have uh, uh, we have um, you know uh, set up uh, you know an API manager the Kafka verse, and and we uh, were able to uh, with this architecture uh, reactive uh, service oriented. We were able, able to reduce integration cost, uh, accelerate time to market of new services. Uh, this uh, was uh, helping as well for agility. We, we have been able to improve um, quality of service, resilience. And one point very important for this big you know, uh, company uh, is to facilitate interoperability between uh, branches, sub providers, and many partners. So this platform um, address uh, many domains, uh, I mean different functional domains. Uh, we have, we have cho chosen to uh, set up uh, one platform to address these, uh, these different uh, domains. So we have customer relation, we have uh, industrial uh, machines for sorting, tracking uh, objects. We have also human resource services, to address and you and you have we have uh, also services on uh, you know like uh, online payment delivery notification so many different domains and many different behavior you know uh, on consuming these this, uh, services at this moment we have uh, uh, more than uh, 280 APIs uh, published and on uh, our platform and uh, roughly 500 subscribers. Uh, the traffic is uh, between uh, three and five million requests uh, per day, but it's increasing you know, um, very fast. And in the morning at around nine o'clock, we have a spike each day because uh, this is a time where the postman are delivering, you know, the documents, uh, the objects to the, the customer. So at this moment, uh, we have a, uh, a spike at around uh, 500 requests a second. So we have chosen to uh, set up um, uh, scalable architecture, of course, but uh, only one, uh, you know, on, only one infrastructure. Uh, to address these different domain is to, uh, you know, of course, to reduce the cost of production of this uh, platform. And we have chosen to have an elastic platform to address the different uh, load we can uh, encounter. So we have three tenants for internal uh, APIs, for partners APIs, and for corporate APIs to, uh, to address different you know, integration processes. We, we do not address uh, this uh, this kind uh, of APIs uh, on the same way. So we have chosen to set up three tenants. Uh, we are thinking about um, you know installing new platform for you know, specific traffic. It's uh, also it's an option as well. So we have a, an elastic platform uh, rather than separate platform, and this platform needs to be up. You know. Uh, 24 uh, a day and seven day a week, so we cannot we cannot stop the platform. So we have uh, developed some you know, odd deploy uh, mechanisms uh, to uh, to make change uh, on uh, you know, the platform on infrastructure on APIs. So so we need to uh, to have this uh, continuous you know uh, service. 
the technology we use is uh, the, the, for some components is a pass open shift, you know. So we have four gateways that uh, we can increase, decrease, uh, uh, depending on the, the traffic. Two key manager, two uh, traffic manager, one uh, publisher, one stop. This is on the pass open shift. And, and, and the, on the other side, on the YAS technology, uh, we have uh, the, data, the main database and we have all the components concerning analytics because these components are using more resources. So we have to, uh, we have to separate uh, from the rest of the, the components. Next point is what we can offer to uh, our service provider and subscriber. Um, one thing very important, it, it has been said before, it's to secure the access of the or the access to the information system. And we have we propose you know some patterns uh, so that we can uh, secure protect uh, the information system. Um, firstly, on the front side. So with different patterns, you can see uh, here, and from the back side as well. Um, we uh, are interconnected with uh, identity provider, so internal identity provider, external identity provider. So, so that we have, you know, a large range of um, patterns to connect to our APIs. We, uh, we have also developed specific patterns. Uh, this is one important thing because um, in some case, uh, we cannot uh, use standard uh, patterns. So we have to develop specific patterns. And this is uh, a feature of WC2, which, which is really interesting uh, to address different use of the APIs. We also offer uh, different process as I was saying, uh, depending on the type of consumers. And uh, we have different interface uh, as well. Uh, what is important with uh, many uh, APIs is to be able to urbanize the APIs, to reference the APIs so that uh, people can easily, you know, uh, find uh, one services. Um, we, uh, we, we also uh, develop uh, a process, you know, workflow to help to, uh, to control and to follow uh, the, um, the consumer of um, the APIs um, with, uh, yes, with a way of uh, simplify the way of a cost, you know, to uh, our uh, platform. One of the point is um, is uh, supervision. Uh, we have two uh, you know two way of um, of monitor our system. There is a technical you know side, there is a, and there is a functional uh, side. So for the technical uh, side, we use uh, tools uh, like Kibana for log and analysis and Grafana for system analysis. This is very important to um, to maintain our system, to, to check the behavior of our, our system and to, uh, to control actually the, the system and the, his behavior depending on the traffic. And on the other side for the project, for the business uh, teams, uh, we offer uh, so analytics reporting interface. So there is the, the, the WSO2 interface analytics one uh, uh, which can be used in some in some way and we have developed a specific one to to make you know um, dashboard um, to address specific needs of our, our business team and we have we have a custom so uh, human machine interface and we have also an api we have developed to uh, uh, this is this API um, collect you know uh, data from the analytics database and and produce and uh, produce you know some uh, you know some reporting. Uh, 
one uh, one word of about organization we are in the devsecops organization so we uh, we uh, are using the, you know, the, the tools you can uh, you know encounter in this kind of organization one thing is we we have to um, to uh, to make our process really you know automatic so uh, we have developed a pipeline to um, to deploy easily and quickly the platform. Uh, we uh, have uh, you know a bank of uh, non-regulation testing uh, so that we can uh, make uh, change you know very uh, often, mostly every two weeks. But we can we can um, make a change you know, very quickly uh, with these uh, tools. Okay, this how team is, uh, you know, 10 people, uh, roughly 10 people a team to manage the build and the, the run in an agile organization. So it's a scrum, you know, and, uh, and a safe, you know, uh, model. And we have a, a support contract with a French WSO2 partner, which is Smile. So what are the main uh, benefits for uh, our business? Uh, I told before that uh, obviously uh, this, um, uh, this API's uh, architecture um, address uh, internal uh, use, internal benefits uh, to accelerate integration uh, of new services. But in terms of business, we can see that um, by uh, publishing you know these uh, these services uh, we can we, we can see that um, it's uh, easier for us to um, integrate our services in the information system of our partners and uh, you, you know at the, the, the this period this log, lockdown period uh, we, we we can see that uh, many uh, uh, you know, uh, company wants to have uh, you know uh, multi-channel uh, model with uh, digital, physical, and they have to accelerate their, their transformation and they have to accelerate to, to go to digital channel. And uh, this way of of integration is uh, you know accelerating uh, uh, the the new services and the time to market. One other thing it has been said before as well is if we want to accelerate integration, we have to secure you know, the way of um, interconnecting you know, the information system. So we really need um, uh, a secure architecture so that our partner, uh, you know, our, uh, trust our system. They rely on the, our process of integration. This is really important to offer the right patterns so that the, the, the partner trust on how you know um, system and process of integration. And the, the third point is uh, you have we have to offer a way to monitor the traffic, a way to monitor the activity on the API, uh, so that the business teams can follow you know the the, the business. So we have uh, I've just noticed some you know uh, success stories that are uh, uh, in the market now or are in progress uh, uh, currently. Uh, I don't know if you know these uh, French you know companies. Uh, Vinted is not a French company, but uh, the Cédiscoon, Le Boncoin, Vinted is another example of uh, integration in progress. And this uh, this uh, example only to say that um, the uh, integration process we have, uh, we propose to our partner, can really accelerate, you know, uh, new business in uh, business to consumer or consumer to consumer. See this good, Le Bon Coin, or consumer to consumer uh, you know, companies, and uh, they really need, you know, some integrated services uh, of La Poste. Okay, some, um, some point I would like to uh, to share with you about how experience with uh, the API manager uh, solution of WSO2. 
uh, we can uh, observe that we, we have um, an ability to support a high load. Uh, the condition for that, uh, I, I load of traffic. Yeah, the condition for that is uh, we have to tune some points on the infrastructure, infrastructure sorry, and traffic management. So um, one thing important is to uh, yeah, is to tune the, the platform so that she can easily you know uh, uh, take the load, uh, uh, where, especially when we have some spike you know of uh, of load. Uh, we can observe also uh, the capability to make custom connection pattern and custom. Uh, it, it's, this point is quite important to address different use of the platform. We have a traffic management efficient, I've said that before, but we can see that uh, in some case, uh, this is very helpful uh, to uh, protect our information system. Um, one point is that the store could be more customer oriented. Uh, we have seen uh, before uh, in the presentation before that uh, it is important to make the API easy to use. And we need to offer, you know, uh, interface uh, with uh, uh, provide, you know, a quite uh, easy process to, uh, to use the API. So, um, Probably we need to uh, customize the store uh, where we have now, and uh, so, so that yeah you have a really uh, customer oriented uh, you know uh, process of integration. Um, one point is that analytics module and the tenant configuration uh, can be tricky to set up, so do not hesitate yet to uh, to uh, use support because. Uh, these uh, these modules are uh, sometimes uh, can be uh, for uh, you know developers for it can be a, a bit uh, complex to uh, to configure and uh, finally uh, we have a very good support uh, level from wso2 we address different queries sometimes incident and architecture issues and so we can say that we have a really uh, really good level of, uh, of support What, are, what is our roadmap uh, for the next uh, months? Um, uh, firstly, uh, we, are, we are going to um, you know, uh, install a new uh, infrastructure and a new data center to address resilience. Uh, because uh, as I was saying, uh, we, we need to have a, a really uh, you know, uh, available uh, platform uh so uh in, in case of really big problem in one data center we need to uh, to have this, to provide the services in another data center and uh, this also will uh, allow to um, to address new domain and uh, new functional domain uh, in la post and so uh, we will be uh, you know we'll uh, build a new a new platform in, uh, in the next month um, yeah, the store customization. Uh, this is uh, so some one point yeah, I, I told about before to develop API visibility and uh, easy to use, you know, uh, process. So this is one uh, one point we are going to uh, to develop as well, and uh, also um, for uh, how internal needed we need to. To lower, you know, the cost of integration uh, because um, to secure, you know, the integration uh, process, uh, we have many, you know, uh, manual uh, you know, uh, actions, and and so we like to uh, to to set up a workflow uh, so that so that the 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 way to to accost, you know, how customer is, you know, easier and. Uh, and uh, faster. 